Like any other group of teenagers who go together for fun, a bit of bullying is always expected. These boys had known each other since childhood in their village, but for some reasons, teasing another one to make him annoyed is just like candy. Isas cannot hide his anger at Samir and Harut, who made fun of his grandmother. Salman, on the other hand, shares the same feeling with Isas as they are cousins. Akif, being the leader here, is trying to settle the issue. Just a few miles ahead from where the street dancing happened, we stopped by to fetch water. As we were going through, some locals were amused to see our crowd aboard Mr. Suzuki. Probably one reason is they seldom see an Asian foreigner riding along with locals in an old pickup truck. This is the fourth day of our trip. We arrived here at midnight last night. This place is about 10 kilometers away to Main Kumrat Valley. We were advised to spend the night here for fear of being pushed back again by the manning soldiers ahead. This place is called Kumrat Hotel, according to the tarpaulin that hangs above the wooden tent. In appearance, though, this establishment is more like a makeshift hotel. On the other side of the road is this robust potato plantation. There is also a honeybee farm. I noticed that honeybee farming is widespread not only in this place, but in the whole province of the KPK. Not far behind is a part of the Kumrat River that flows from upstream. This water is freezing cold. It is because it flows down from the mountain rainforest with melting snow in the summer season.
post on this very tree is a testament that Pakistan is never silent on its support to Kashmir's political struggle. Every year, on February 5, Pakistan observes a day of solidarity with Kashmiris. Pakistan has come out in robes on streets and avenues across the country to participate in rallies and make human change on the occasion of Kashmir Solidarity Day. Kumrat Valley is a long stretch of towns and villages, but at this very moment, we are now getting into the main attraction of the Kumrat Valley. From what we hear from this point, it seems that there seems to be some exciting musical performance over there. So let's go and see for ourselves what's in there. <laughs> Hey! 
This is the scenic Kumrat Valley, where it's towering the other forest trees on the level ground adjacent to this cold Panj Coral River. The ambience of this gorgeous rainforest, along with that enchanting crystal blue river, is what attracts tourists every year. Every summer season, thousands of tourists from different areas of the country visit this valley for its greenery and cool weather. This valley is located in the Upper Deer district of Khyber, Pakhtunkhwa, the province of Pakistan. It is about 600 kilometers from the capital Islamabad. However, a trip to Kumrat is not complete without a visit to Kumrat Waterfalls. As our Mr. Suzuki can only reach up to this point, we have to take a 5 km walk to the waterfalls. As you can see, the road that we are walking on is not just bumpy, but it's next to impossible for any vehicle. Nevertheless, seeing Kumrat Waterfalls is a must for everyone who visits this place. This is the Kumrat Waterfalls. This water that falls from high up there is one of the water sources that flow down to that Kumrat River downstream. As this week is the peak of season of Eid al Adha holidays, a lot of visitors are expected to arrive during these days.
you look at the growing plants around this place, you will notice that this marijuana plant just grows wild in abundance. But this thing, however, is not unique to this place. Marijuana grows in the wild in almost everywhere in KPK province. But for the locals here, marijuana is just another plant. It is absolutely no big deal seeing marijuana growing around this place. This trip to Kumrad Valley is more like an adventure. Nevertheless, for people like us, it is still absolutely a fascinating journey. You would probably not prefer a journey to this place if you are a tourist who likes to feel comfort in every way. But if you are a traveler who enjoys the unpredictability of a journey and what Mother Nature can offer, a trip to a place like this is something you can always look forward to. On our way to Combrat Valley, it was not only the journey that was challenging and unpredictable. Knowledge than Mr. Suzuki was also challenging us by being unpredictable himself. There were a lot of times that Mr. Suzuki needed our help to push him forward due to the condition of the road or the steepness of the terrain where the long and winding road passes through. But for all those challenges, for this adventure-seeking team of young boys, nothing can beat the lure of the beauty and excitement of this beautiful valley. We may push Mr. Suzuki to move forward at some time, but that's completely okay because we are still absolutely happy with our experience and if we are fortunate enough to save some amount of money for our next trip, it will definitely come back next time.